Welcome to Pure Mind Magic, the show to evolve your mind. Our mind is the most powerful thing we have, but no one teaches us how to use it. When we find out how, we're ready to create magic in life and in business. Learn real mindset secrets from brilliant minds around the world to change your mindset and income level forever. With every decision you make, you create your future. What is your next move? Now, welcome your host. Host, international magician, speaker, and podcast performance consultant, Jennifer S. Royal. Hi, and welcome back to the third episode of my trilogy. I do in solo episodes what I decided to do for the beginning of this year. So great that you have tuned in. And after talking in the last episode about intermittent fasting and in the episode before about Feng Shui and other tips, how you can make your goals a reality this year, I thought it would be good to give you a little more motivation and do an episode about morning routines. I know they are very popular at the moment and from me studying all those successful people and reading all their books, I found that almost all of them do have their own morning routine. So this will be the topic of this episode. And before we dive in, I can tell you that this episode is brought to you by Curated Therapies. This is a pretty cool high-end site where they have elixirs, vitamins and organics. So what is really cool at the moment is that for this season they are offering a winter wellness box. And in this box is everything that keeps you healthy during this time of the year where there are colds everywhere and when you touch anything it goes really really fast that you have your cold and the winter wellness box of curated therapies helps you to get an extra layer of defense against everything that's out there and might affecting your immune system check out the other products they also do have have creatine enhanced gummies and as i said really high-end products you see it from the package And when you are like me and have to work all the time, I think it's a good idea to protect yourself and get this box. So I was really attracted to that because, you know, me as a magician playing with boxes and having toolboxes thought is really cool. And the box they are selling for winter is also really good with absolutely everything you need as I said, to protect your health. So it's curatedtherapies.com. I will leave a link in the show notes and you can check that out. Let's get started with today's topic about morning routines and why they have that big impact and why they are important at all. So first off, think about how you start your day when you get up in the morning, whether you do it consciously or unconscious there is a kind of a routine so something you do every morning like in the same pattern and you might have noticed that that when you get up and you first check your phone for whatsapp facebook instagram whatever you immediately start to reacting to all those things that are going on you don't have really this time for yourself And most people advise to get up really early in the morning. I have to confess that this is just nothing for me because I'm a night person. But when you can, or when this feels good to you to get up that early, definitely I can recommend it because this is when the rest of the world is still sleeping. So you have this time for yourself. I enjoy having this time for myself especially during the night. So what's so important about the morning routine is that how you get up and how you start your day is like you frame your day and how the rest of the day will kind of turn out. So you set the energy in the morning. And this is why it's so important that you have this time for yourself 
and really focus on what's important to you before you start replying to all those emails, making phone calls and getting stressed out. And maybe from experience, you notice that when you get up and you have all the stress in the morning, it's very likely th that the whole day will go in this mood and you have to deal with all this stress. So take this time in the morning and all the big authors all recommend having this morning routine. And the best is when you create a morning routine yourself, because everyone is different. And so it makes sense that you have a unique morning ritual that is just for you. And what is recommended is that we have this three parts, what fits very well with the podcast here, because we have the mind, the body and the spirit. So it would be best when you do something in all those three areas, meaning you give food for thought. So for example, you pick up a book you really like, you read a few pages in the book, or when you prefer listening to audio, pick an, an audiobook or even a podcast to get you inspired. And you know, I talked about this before on the show here. It's not only important what you put in your body. It's also important what you put in your mind because that determines your mindset, your belief system, your experience, just everything. So also pick wisely. I would pick something that's really motivational, that's positive, something that brings you further in your life. So don't pick the actual news, negative things, negative stories and all of that. Something that's really enhancing your mood, your frequency. So this would be the thing for the mind to just feel good, to elevate yourself, makes perfectly sense. And in the morning, it's still quiet. And when you have your cell phone still turned off or in flight mode, you have this time for yourself to sit down, to read or to listen to material that will help you improve your life. Then we do have the body section. This is related to everything that has to do with exercise in any way. And I know there are people who prefer just going out for a walk. So you get all this fresh air in your system, this energy, but it's just awesome. Other people prefer to do like 20 push ups. Just do something to get your body moving to really wake up or we know from Anthony Robbins that he loves to do this uh, bath in cold water and also cold showers are recommended. I know it's tough, but it's only in your mind that you have this limitation that it's cold. So once you break through, you convince yourself that you can do it. What is pretty strong. So everything, think about what feels good to you. What can you do for your body? And when it's just some gymnastics just moving around, going outside, and maybe you're lucky, lucky and living on the beach, then I think it's just perfect when you wake up and go outside towards the ocean. So it can be anything, but then you have covered your mind, you have covered your body. And the third part would be the spirit. And also you have different options there. So Maybe you like having your affirmations and reading all of that. And I said it before as well, that words are very powerful. So you can speak things into existence. And I remind you once again that abracadabra means I create as I speak. So it's powerful and it's most powerful when you write your own affirmations and not just repeating what anyone has written. So think about maybe 10 sentences of things you would like to do, to have, to be, what you would like to transform and just it has the most effect when you read it out loud to yourself. And you can even make it stronger when you do this in front of a mirror. So you don't have to whatever feels good to you. I'm just giving you here ideas and inspirations on how you can create your own morning routine. Another way of course is, and what is probably most popular is doing any kind of meditation. 
So when you sit down and the very basic form of meditation is just sitting down and it's important that you sit so that you have your spine erect, what is like the antenna to the universe. That's very important. And also maybe this happened to you before when you lay down while you're meditating, it's very likely that you'll fall asleep, especially in the morning when you're still tired. So make sure when you decide on meditation to just sit. And then the basic form is you only concentrate on your breathing and do everything to get your mind clear. So to keep all the thoughts away. And we know it's not possible to not think, but just observe and clear your mind. So you're creating all the space for the day and all for all the new ideas that might come to you. And you also know that there are so many variations of meditations and there are also guided meditations, what is great to start with, but all that will help you to get in a really good mood and to give you the feeling that you do have control over your day and control over your life. When you make this conscious decisions in the morning to get up, do something for your mind, do something for your body and also do something for your spirit. And it will completely shift your energy. You will notice a lot of changes. Just try it for a couple of days is my suggestion. And another big thing when you're not so much into meditation, I know it's not for everyone as everything, then you can simply start with doing some gratitude. So get a gratitude journal or just grab any notebook and sit down and every morning write between three and ten things in your life you are grateful for. And we know that gratitude has the highest frequency. So when you could, you can put yourself into this frequency, very likely a lot of good things will happen to you and you will definitely start the day different. Even when you know there is a tough meeting or you have some, uh, or you have a lot of stress that day, this really can help you set things right for you. So these are my short tips on what you do. I also have realized that in my own life to do it every morning and it changed a lot of things for me, gives me a really good feeling and also power and energy in the morning and keeping this energy, especially when I combine it with intermittent fasting, what I did the last episode about, then it's really perfect to get all those three areas in alignment with the mind, the body and the spirit. Maybe you have already a morning routine and maybe you got one or two tips from it now or you would like to change it from time to time. It's always good to do that and just see how it feels. And you don't have to take half an hour for that. You can do that like in 15 minutes. But this is a really good investment for the day when you invest those 15 minutes just for yourself. I know people that do their morning routine for like two hours before they do anything, doing any emails or whatsoever. They are really offline. They go to the gym. They have their workout there. And after two hours, they are done with their morning routine. They are so motivated and they are ready for the day. So at the moment, I cannot realize the two hours, but I, I would like and I do my best to shift everything into this that I'm able to do it because for myself, the more time I take, the better actually the whole day is. So it depends. As I said, everyone is different. See for yourself and also one time the reminder when you would like also to get some supplements and invest in your health to really be able to deliver this peak performance in case you are about to start your own business or you have your own business or you live the entrepreneurial lifestyle or have a side hustle or wherever you are, whatever you are doing right now, it's always great to be in top form when it comes to health, because then you have all the energy to make things really happen. And for that, I mentioned that this episode was 
brought to you by Curated Therapies. I mentioned it in the beginning. They have great high-end products there to serve you well and support you with your health. And especially at the moment, they do have the winter wellness box where you have everything you need to get through this time where people are really easily getting a cold. And this can really push your back. I ha had this before as well for myself because when you when you can't do anything else besides laying in bed, this is really tough because you can't build on your business, on your vision, on your dream, on anything because you need that time for relaxation. And this also to come full circle helps you with the morning routine because your health will get better when you take this time in the morning for your body, get it moving, especially when you are sitting for the whole day, what many people do. It's really perfect when you get some movement in the morning and you're just walking around or you go for a run, whatever you prefer for your lifestyle. So hope this was an interesting Thing and you think differently about how to start your day to really take on the control over the day or how the day turns out. Let me know when or how it's going for you when you do this morning routine and you can start small and grow it bigger and bigger when you have a good feeling and you see that this helps you to move into the right direction. So this was the last of the three solo episodes I did for the start of the year. Next episode will be an interview again, as you know it. And I also have a couple of interesting guests for you lined up producing those interviews and will release them then soon. So that's all. And in whatever time zone you are right now, maybe it is morning, then think about what you can change. You can start with small little changes for your day. And when it's evening, then think about tomorrow morning when you get up, what can you do? What can you change? What is your personal morning routine? And when you want to learn more, there are a lot of great books out there where you can get more inspiration, dive deep into that. I just thought I'd give you this few cues on what you can do with your day. All right, talk to you soon. Until then, create some magic.